Hello, one, two, three. What's going on, YouTube? We've got an episode today for you with Cloudflare. Cloudflare R2, and how does that disrupt the cloud service industry? Stay tuned. First of all, what is R2 storage? Cloudflare's new competitor to S3. You can store stuff for really cheap, drop-in compatible with S3. Zero egress fees and automatic migration from S3 compatible. What does zero egress fee mean? Whenever anybody, any computer or person like wants to get data from S3, they can get it for free. Now, free is not like storage cost. The storage cost like is still there. You need hard disk somewhere being hosted by somebody. Well, why is this important? You are, I don't know, Facebook.com. You have like a Facebook logo and you have like, you know, the Facebook style sheet and whatever. You would typically pull that in and um, you'd be charged per gigabyte, per terabyte, right? You want that to be cheap if you are like a really big site. Let's talk about AWS. Why is AWS a big deal? AWS like really offered a few key things that, um, that were not easily available before. Servers available, like you know, big sales events, 100 times the normal load. 364 days of the year, that load is sitting there not doing anything like instantly scalable services meet the demands of like let's just say again black friday wait they don't want to wait for like getting servers to like shipping sourcing assembly putting the data center set up like that's that's months like mm -hmm. if you can just like snap your fingers and have a server now that's really attractive r2 is going to completely change that yes yes so S3 is working, like they price on two things, like stock and flow. Stock's like the actual data, the disks, flow is like, you know, the, the egress. And so like the, the stock is the, the cheap part, the egress is the, the gravy, right? So they have about 80X margins, according to the research. How does R2 disrupt AWS? Their, their margins revolve around S3. Innovator's dilemma, uh, when you have this like high margin, um, high profitability, um, kind of set up, like it's hard to pivot into um, low margin, uh, new products, like you would be cannibalizing your high margin. That's the biggest issue. You cannot quickly pivot your business model when it's on this like central service. You know, this is not Cloudflare's central service. So um, as time goes, we can see a more modular cloud emerging where different service, different companies can fill out these different parts of the cloud. These use cases for R2, right. yeah. For example, compute can be done by somebody else. You know, database can be done by somebody else. And then storage can be done by R2. Yes. Uh, workers can be done. Whereas AWS offers this whole integrated service where you're completely locked into their ecosystem and yes. you have to pay those fees because it's just so expensive to get your data out. A lot of companies are already using Cloudflare workers. An infrastructure advantage for Cloudflare because yes. they've already set up all this connections for CDNs. Yes. Now they're just using it for R2. So their marginal cost is also very, very low. Yeah, so this shows um, how dominant Cloudflare is in the reverse proxies or like CDNs. So they own this space, like you can see like Amazon CloudFronts, they only have 5.4% of the market share, whereas Cloudflare has 80%, right? Like if you are running a big website, you want to reverse proxy, you want to distribute the load of, you know, this horde of traffic coming in amongst many servers. That's what a reverse proxy lets you do. 80% of the market, that's, that's like a huge land grab, mm -hmm. right? And so companies already in bed with Cloudflare, they are very likely to want to move into a cheaper cost model and like for example wasabi would be like a new entrant and it's not not uh, as enticing that's right for these reasons we think that cloudflare is especially the r2 product is positioned for disruption yes 